Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Isaiah and this is Car Explain. So in today's video, we are going to have a talk about cleaning. Yes, cleaning the M Sport steering wheel on your BMW. Now this M Sport steering wheel that you see here is common on pretty much all the BMW M cars from just like the 340i M Sport to uh, the actual M3s, the M2s. But the steering wheel, I don't know, just in my case, I've had a horrible time keeping it clean and trying to keep all the grease because you know when you drive you touch the steering wheel constantly you get all these oils on here the only way to really avoid that is to just get driving gloves but for some reason this m sport steering wheel that i have in my car is an absolute magnet for like any type of oil um so i'm going to show you guys today how i keep my m sport steering wheel clean um i typically have to do this every month uh, or two months because it just gets so bad with the oils and plus I rent this car out so people use this car and it just uh, it just really accumulates so guys I'm going to show you guys what I do to keep it clean let's dive into the video before we get started if you guys could just take a second to hit the subscribe button that would mean the absolute world to me we grow this channel one sub at a time and I need your help so first things first, I'm going to show you guys the cleaning products that I use. So first, I have the Lexol um, Leather Deep Cleaner. Um, I got this stuff at Advance Auto and um, it gets the job done. It really, you know, cleans. It's a very light formula. And then second, I end everything off with the Lexol Leather Deep Conditioner. Um, and I'll show you guys how I apply that today. Um, for the, a couple other things you're going to need is kind of like a, uh, I, I bought this also from Advanced Auto. It's kind of like a, a very soft, like in a sense, in an essence, it's kind of like, you know, very softly like sanding the leather. And um, I highly recommend it, you know, because it really does get, if you have like some scratches on your steering wheel, this helps like get it out. Um, and then also I have just kind of like a regular microfiber cloth here you know, to apply the conditioner. Um, also, I have just a rogue kind of microfiber cloth here for like wiping off the, the cleaning like uh, solution. So one of these. And then last but not least, I have this big towel to put on my lap and to kind of also just cover uh, parts of the car that I don't want to get harmed by any of the solutions. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so first I start by getting my leather cleaner here, applying it to my little, you know, little leather sanding uh, cloth here. Get a nice good bit on here. And then this is the fun part right here. You really, really got to try and just get it and try and work it into that steam. But don't be afraid to like, and that's why I have all these towels, don't be afraid to really squeeze and really work this stuff into the steering wheel. Um, I try to do this typically for about five to 10 minutes, well, about five minutes, um, just really working this stuff in. And I do multiple applications, but um, don't be afraid to get in those cracks and crevices, get into the places like right here, like in these little crevices here, this is where the oil just really accumulates when you're driving. Um, you often forget about it, but yeah, guys. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward through this part because I'm sure you probably don't want to watch me watch watch my steering wheel for five minutes. So. Okay. Now that I've really dialed up the steering wheel and you know my cleaning solution, I'm gonna take this damp cloth here, it's slightly damp and I'm just gonna wipe the excess off the steering wheel. Just wipe it all off. Make sure I get all the cracks in the crevices here. It's 
still might appear a little shiny because of the, the solution and also that this towel is slightly damp. We'll get that kind of matte finish that you're looking for uh, once we're all finished up here. All right. I'm just gonna take my towel here and just get some of the wetness on it. All right, great guys. Now we are ready for our leather. See, I'll let you guys put that on the camera. Our all leather conditioner. So, I'm gonna take my, take my, uh, my uh, little microfiber cloth here. Let's apply it to the cloth here. Let's take it and apply it over our skin. Make sure you really work it in there. Just kind of like how we were doing it with the clean sponge, but now just to your, with the conditioner. Make sure you work it in those cracks and crevices. a chance for our leather to settle uh, the last step here is just taking a clean cloth and just wiping the excess off and uh, we should be getting that matte finish that we're looking for here so let's go ahead and do it just cleaned and conditioned our M Sport steering wheel. The truth is that it's never gonna look like it did when we first bought it with the methods that I'm using, but at least this way you can still keep kind of like a matte feel and finish and touch to your steering wheel as best you can. Um, I mean, the other thing is you could just get your steering wheel wrapped in out of country and then you don't have to worry about this anymore, but um, I'm going to invest in a good set of driving gloves so that I don't have to do this as often. Um, and you also can just not touch the steering wheel when you drive, which is what I do sometimes when I just don't want my steering wheel to get dirty. It's important that the steering wheel looks nice. Like but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you guys trying to keep your M Sport steering wheel clean. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.